Hey, this is Notzer, and this is a look at the destroyer builds for 0.6.0. Many of you have requested that I do this, and I'm just going to give you my honest opinion on what I value and what I don't really value for each class. And today we're going to do the destroyers. First up is the US destroyers. I have my Fletcher Commander up here, as you can see, and I've put an overlay gold, silver, and bronze in the order that I've, I sort of feel like. These are really great skills. These are sort of next tier skills to take. And then if you if you value something a little bit more than me, maybe you consider picking the bronze over something else. So let's get started. We have priority target. I feel like priority target is giving you free information. That's why I recommend priority target as the first level one point you take. Basically, Whenever you have situation awareness on your screen and you see a number, that means there is imminent fire coming your way, probably. This is an indicator for when that crosshair is set up on a target. So whenever you are targeting someone, if they're using priority target, they will see a number one or a number two or however many are targeting. That's free information. So it's an easy level one for me to take. Preventative maintenance is the same way. It's protecting your steering and your torpedoes, your main battery, you name it, That's it's protecting it. But it's not giving me anything that I wouldn't already have from other modules that I might pick up. And then the final bronze is the incoming fire skill. Incoming fire is basically a worse version of priority target. It does give you a little bit more accuracy for when shells are incoming, but I'll give up a little accuracy for a broader information skill like priority target. So let's move to level two. Level two, last stand. It's just number one skill. Number one skill. Why? It protects your steering and your engine. It allows you to do more things and not die immediately. That's why I take it. I take it all the time. Some people say, I don't need last stand. You've seen how I play? I need last stand. I'm too aggressive. Now I'm aggressive for a reason. I want to take the enemy destroyers out of the fight quickly. And last stand allows me to do that. For my silver skill at level two, I choose a drill and a rush. And the reason I choose a drill and rush is because it's going to impact your main battery and your torpedoes. I played a game in my gearing and it took like 20 or 30 seconds off of my rearm. That's significant of both your torpedoes and your main battery. A lot of times the destroyer sits there and they don't take any damage and they are rewarded by that. This skill is great for that. You can hide in smoke, sit at 50%, 30%, have better torpedoes, better guns. It feels great. Now, some people might pick expert marksman, that's more destroyer to destroyer. My my sort of go-to is for, for a destroyer, if its turret rotation is worse than like 20 or 25 seconds, I'm picking up expert marksman. But the, even then, I really don't want to sacrifice it over other things. The US destroyers don't really have a problem that they need expert marksman, so I don't take it. The third skill, the bronze, is probably the smoke extended smoke this is not really necessary it doesn't blow my mind that's why it's a bronze for me at this tier another skill that might be considered is the torpedo acceleration but honestly the range of my torpedoes is more important to me than the speed so i don't really take it now from a level level threes we're going to go for faster torpedo rearm the u.s destroyer is just a better torpedo boat than the Japanese. It's probably the best torpedo boat in the game at certain tiers. And is that fair? Is that right? I don't know, but boy, torpedo armament is good for that. So that's why I take it. Another skill, the silver of my level three, basic firing training. It's going to improve my rate of fire of my main guns and the AA protection. And the US destroyers have the ability to have better AA. They have defensive fire. It, it, it gels really well together, doesn't it? The bronze for my level three is superintendent and demolition expert. 
And the reason they're so low is that these are just so good, especially for a US destroyer. They're not bad and maybe they're good in certain scenarios. Maybe you want to be trying to improve your defensive fire more. Well, then superintendent's gonna give you another charge. Maybe I don't use premium consumables. Well, then superintendent is gonna have more value for you if you don't use premium consumables. I do, so it doesn't have as much value as these, of course. Demolition Expert, it's been nerfed 2%. 2% is not as good as it used to be. And these are just better. 10% better main battery, 10% better torpedoes. This is really a third or fourth skill. So as I'm working my way down, I get priority target, last stand, torpedo armament expertise, and then concealment. Of course, concealment. It's just that important. It's that good. Concealment is the best skill in the game by far. It is so important that even battleships take it. That one to two extra kilometers is going to be the difference between you getting the ambush shot and they getting the ambush shot. So please go one level one, one level two, one level three, and one level four, and then come back and pick up skills. So if I were to suggest what other skills I would take, I would probably go to my gearing and I would say, hmm, I have an 18 skill commander. I decided to get two Adrenaline Rush. I, I decided to get Adrenaline Rush. I think Adrenaline Rush is that good. Basic firing training and Demolition Expert. If I get my, my 19th skill commander, maybe, maybe I pick up HEAP. Maybe I get preventative maintenance. Maybe I swap out a drill and rush and I get superintendent. However, I feel like a drill and rush is that good. I think a drill and rush improves the ship too much to ignore. Now, some people are going, why are you saying that radio location is a bronze? Well, it's not giving me more information. I know these players are doing that. So for me, I prefer if I have a little bit higher DPS or I'm not going to be completely dominated if I'm spotted out because I have the protection for it. That's what I prefer. My information gathering is already really good. But if yours isn't, then take this skill. If you can't perceive where destroyers might be, you need to because others can. So take this over some of these skills. All right, so that was the U.S. destroyer. Let's go over to the Soviet destroyer. The Soviet destroyer is not exactly the same. The Soviet destroyer is a gunboat, first and foremost, and we're just going to go through it really quickly. Priority target. Obviously, it gives you more information. It knows when the target is looking at you. Last stand. You're going to take damage. You don't want to be completely dead in the water. Basic firing training. Better rate of fire on your gunboat is always important. And then I take advanced firing training. Why do I take advanced firing training? Because getting the extra range is going to protect you. And you'll be able to engage targets that you wouldn't normally be able to. The velocity of the Soviets is so good. The range is not as important or weak as it. Uh, the velocity of the Soviets is so good that the range is worth it. Why didn't I take it or recommend it for the Americans? Because the velocity is that bad. There are so many better skills for Americans. And why wouldn't I recommend concealment? Well, it's actually beneficial to your team if you aren't concealed. The enemy will fire on you. You will take salvos away from other people. If you can take it, it's worth not being concealed for your team. So I pick up advanced firing training. I also pick up HEAP because I'm firing a lot. I don't really invest that much in torpedoes. So instead of getting torpedo armament like others, you notice I don't even recommend it because you just, you just don't use your torpedoes as much. I take Demolition Expert. I go all in on my destroyers. I get a drill and rush for even better main battery. And it does improve your torpedoes, which is nice. Overall, it's all in on the guns. All in on making these guns so terrifying. 
higher chance to light the target on fire, higher HE damage, higher range, higher rate of fire times two. It feels really good. The Soviet destroyers are very scary. And they should be. If you play it right, you can operate an extended range and hit shots on ships that just no other destroyer can do. And I really enjoy it. Now, this is not only for Soviets. The Akizuki, I could see a build similar to this. You might change one or two things if you think that's right. Maybe you drop advanced firing training for better concealment so you can basically double as a Japanese concealed destroyer, but also have the rate of fire. I personally would probably go more towards advanced firing training just because the concealment is already pretty good. It's like 6.8 for the Akizuki. So this is the gunboat, the Soviet destroyer build, as I call it. Feels pretty good. Let's go to the Japanese, and the Japanese are not the Soviets, of course. This is the Japanese build that I would recommend. Priority target, of course, last stand, faster torpedo rearm, and concealment. It's very simple. Now, here's where it's different from Americans. Why advanced firing training? Because the Japanese have terrible range. They have good velocity, but their range is terrible, so I want to fix the range problem. If the default range of the Japanese is over 10.5, I probably don't touch advanced fire training. Maybe I invest more in rate of fire, demolition, HEAP, radio, faster torpedoes, improved smoke. But if it's like the Shimakaze, and the Shimakaze has terrible range, it's 9.8. 9.8 is not enough. So I get advanced fire training. And I get a drill and rush for the faster torpedoes, the faster rate of fire. It all melds very well together. I might pick up basic firing training. I have considered also demolition. These two are sort of a push. Why have I moved so far away from superintendent? Because it's competing with so many good skills for destroyers. I'm not even touching survivability expert because it's probably like the fifth or sixth good skill. It's very rare that you can get more than three per row. So that's that's why I was covering this stuff the way I was. And finally, let's go to the Germans. Now the Germans will look very similar to the US. In fact, it's the same overlay, but I would change a couple things if I really was thinking about it. So we've got priority target, last stand, Faster torpedo rearm. Concealment. What else could we take? Well, we could take radio. We could take HEAP. I have chosen to take, instead of basic firing training, demolition expert and superintendent over basic firing training because I'm using the 150 millimeter variant of the Z-23. This only impacts the caliber 139 and below 150 is not improved the rate of fire so it's not that good for a large caliber destroyer like the 150 millimeter of the z23 and people have asked me would you use heap on the germans perhaps perhaps i would they have a high chance to light the target on fire i probably would honestly i probably would get another point i'm not at 19 i would get another point probably drop superintendent and pick up HEAP. Yeah, I am dropping charges, but I am using premium consumables to compensate for that. And that's 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 what all this is. It's making sure that you cover any weaknesses or align with your strengths. You don't want to pick skills because someone else picked it and they play it completely different than you. If you're not me, in the German destroyers. If you're not considering your torpedoes first and your gun second, then this build is probably not the best build for you. But if you are considering torpedoes first, gun second, this is probably a, a really strong build for you. If you can't perceive where people are, radio location is much better for you than me. It might be number two for level four. Concealment, concealment will always be number one. You always want this skill as a destroyer. 
but these might rearrange some. I hope this was helpful. I didn't want it to take too long. I just want to explain my reasoning behind each pick. And hopefully I did. Now, this build will align much better with a small caliber German, like the 128. If I did 128, well then rate of fire is really important. Demolition is really important. These are probably much more important than superintendent. HEAP, I feel, is still really good. But remember, as a German, torpedoes first, and then you fire, once you've considered all the threats, because if you overextend in a German, good luck getting out. Your smoke doesn't last very long, and you're seen from the moon. But they can be fun. I hope this was helpful. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.